United States Attorney Patrick Miles has some strong words for the man accused of supplying the guns that led to the death of Kalamazoo Public Safety Officer Eric Zapata 16 months ago. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson has a look at where things stand in the case against the killer's father, Kim Statler Sr. The Office of United States Attorney Patrick Miles released these pictures of the long guns that were inside the Kalamazoo home of Kim Robert Statler Sr. on the night of April 18, 2011. Statler was in Florida at the time, but his son, Kim II, lived there, and his younger son, Leonard Statler, lived across the street. Both Statler boys were convicted felons, but still had access to the guns. Leonard Statler first shot off a handgun outside the Hayes Park Avenue home. Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety Officer Eric Zapata responded. Leonard then fired an SKS assault rifle, killing Officer Zapata before turning the gun and killing himself. Statler Sr. was facing a maximum of 10 years in prison, but back in May, he cut a deal and pled guilty to disposing of firearms to a felon, agreeing to serve no more than two years in prison. Under sentencing guidelines, Miles computed an advisory sentence of 18 to 24 months, at the same time releasing a strong statement reading in part, this was a preventable tragedy. It would not have happened but for access to the guns that defendant Statler left in the custody of his sons. Miles goes on to say, there is nothing this court or anyone else can do to bring back the lives of Officer Zapata and Leonard Statler, and the defendant will have to live with that responsibility for the rest of his life. Final sentencing is now in the hands of the judge. In Grand Rapids, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8. Now, if the judge sentences Statler Sr. to more than two years, he can drop the plea and go to trial. Sentencing is scheduled for Thursday. His oldest son, Kim II, is currently serving four years on charges of a felon in possession of a firearm.